Hello and welcome to the 6th Annual Persimmon Ridge presented by MVP Disc Sports. This is round three. My name is Holly Finley. And I'm Rebecca Cox. Also known as the Ridge to locals here in central Arkansas. It's my first time out here. I've absolutely loved the course. I could rent carts. It's my second time out here. Is it? Yeah, I was here in 2020 and they definitely made a lot of updates. Here we have our leaderboard, Kristen Zatar and Owen Scoggins tied at 14 down, and Kat Merch and Kona Montgomery a little bit behind them, so they're probably going to be battling for third and fourth. Hole one. We have a huge downhill shot here, pretty reachable for everyone on the card. It's a hole that you want to get right off the bat. Let's give it up for Miss Kristen Tatar. I believe Kristen is throwing a rive right here. at 14 under, averaging 10.17 along with Kristen, coming out of Los Angeles, California. Let's give it up for Owen Scoggins. Owen Scoggins, and of a star team member. Second highest rated woman in the game. Throwing her trusty Star Destroyer off the tee, which is what she throws on every hole. It's a high-speed driver for Innova. Joining these ladies today, the pride of Rosebud, Arkansas. Give it up for Cat Merch. Cat Merch, also an Innova Star Team member. She likes to throw those flippy turnover shots. I believe that could be a metal plate katana. And rounding out this card, coming out of Rancho Cucamongo, California, let's give it up for Kona Panis. Kona Montgomery. I can see on her face she's mad she didn't get the last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this looks nice. Good shot shape out of Kona. That. Looks like it will hyze her out a bit, but she'll have a putt for a birdie. And I'm ashamed to admit that I just realized those bushes are in the shape of a P and an R for persimmon. Just ridge. now? Just now. Oh. This coverage. <laughs> Shame on me. Cat Merch for a birdie two from 50 feet. It is harder to see when you're up close, to be fair. Now, you said you think that's a metal flake katana, but I'm throwing a roadrunner here, and Kat does not need a katana to throw 400 feet, so I'm not sure it is. Okay. You would probably know better than I I feel do. like that would be overkill for her. She already throws 425, yep. you know? That's I would true. like to know what that is, though. I recognize that. She does throw that sometimes when she's trying to throw those big bombs, but yeah. this isn't a big bomb hole. You're right. Kristen starting off with a long uphill birdie, too. GK replay already. So smooth. Doesn't even need to jump or anything. Just uses the power of her lower body. Beautiful putt. Oh, oh, and own outside of the rim gets a taste of the birdie, but not on this one. Great to see Lona, Lona, Kona <laughs> on lead card um, for two days. She also made it on the feature card for day one, and mm -hmm. she's holding her own out here all weekend. Yeah, good to see her healthy again and out playing more to her potential. And her ceiling's definitely a lot higher. Kristen with the only birdie two here on hole one. Let's check out hole two. 
Nice elevated basket with just a touch of wind coming in at 298 feet. A couple of different ways to play this hole. You've got an obvious forehand turnover shot and then an interesting hyzer over that giant evergreen in front of you. Did you ever go for the hyzer? No, I didn't. I didn't either. My mid got there fine without having to do that crazy shot. Great shot from Kristen. She basically parks it. That's not really a scary putt from that distance. You can almost lean over and drop it in. Yeah, you don't have to worry too much about throwing a high-speed disc with the forehand here because that sand takes a lot of the oomph out of it when it lands. And I said this on hole one, but I'm not going to tell you that owns throwing a destroyer on every hole because she is. There's no question. Um, if it's a driver, it's a destroyer. Ooh, a little bit of... Cat didn't like that out of her hand, but the stability of the disc worked out great mm -hmm. for her. Now, that's kind of a sketchy putt. A little early to go for it. Yeah. Mm. It's not super windy, though, right now, so... No, and she's brave. Sometimes you think you're going to lay up and then you walk up to the putt and change your mind. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I do it too often. I'm also easily influenced by what other people do. <laughs> Own says no thank you and mm -hmm. she pitches it up for a par. <laughs> There's no way Kona's going to go for this. Oh my goodness. Do you think that was a half go? I think I think that was just a committed layup. Okay, I don't know if okay, she was really okay. going for it. <laughs> Stank face. It hurts. It yeah, hurts to lay it does. up. And Kristen with her little tap in here. Two birdies in a row for Kristen Tatar. Now, Extending the lead a little bit yeah, instead of being tied. Two strokes ahead of own. These ladies are really lucky right now because uh, the whole weekend in general was fairly windy. We had times the gusts were up to 30, 35 miles an hour. So you had to be very particular with your disc choices. Here we have hole three, 230 feet, low ceiling. Um, kind of right on the tee pad, but definitely when you get to the basket, you want to try and crash something into those rocks pretty much and give yourself a putt. Ooh, oh, that worked out great. A wall skip. Bonus. This is pretty much the one mistake you can make. Just, oh, she got lucky. She got around it. Just getting locked up behind that big tree, but that didn't happen to her. I like those yellow pants from Cat's sponsor. Me too. Is it Perks and Recreation? I believe so, yes. Kona Montgomery with a clean release. Oh, she has a little bit of a gap in there. Not quite enough height to get that one in. Oh, that's mm. annoying. Yeah. You don't really want to take worse than a three on this hole. Kona for the two. A little bit of wind swirling in. Doesn't quite give it the height it needs. Kristen in for the turkey. What a great start. Own 
needs to press the gas pedal. Mm-hmm. You know, Owen did tell me uh, the morning of day three that she did a lot of practice putting in the wind and her arm was really hurting. <clears throat> so it's likely things just aren't 100% for her this day. Let's check out hole four. This is one of my favorites. Par four, 489 feet. You can land your drive anywhere uh, short of or past that big tree we just flew around. That'll give you a nice low ceiling up shot into the green where you can utilize some skip action if you're good at that. Here's a bit of that wind. I believe it was a direct headwind on this hole. Kristen leaving it a bit short. She threw a backhand um, another day and it turned over in the wind. That was low, but it went pretty far. Mm -hmm. Ideal placement for own. I know sometimes when I'm throwing in the wind, my body just automatically kind of releases it low because it knows keeping it up in the wind will not always result in what you want. The subconscious stuff is what gets you sometimes. Kona with a bomber of a drive mm -hmm. past the big tree. That'll give her a nice opening into the basket for a birdie three. Ooh, I like that. Goodness. Ooh, that's nice. That'll be a relatively straightforward upshot for Kat. Mm. And Kristen denied by the low ceiling. She'll have to play it for a par, which shouldn't be too hard from there. One with the chance to get a birdie here. It's puttable. That's, that's mm -hmm. a close one. I'll take that. I saw that guy. He was a spectator. Yeah. Uh, he started on day one. I walked up to Owen and said, I'll be here all weekend if you decide at any moment, on any hole, you need a caddy. Just let me know. I'll be right behind you in the crowd. So it looks <laughs> like she took him up on the offer. Kona has a great upshot, and she's given herself a putt for birdie. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a little obstructed at the base of that tree. Kristen doing well to just get her par and get out of there. This is the best tee shot we've seen uh, on coverage from the FPO division mm -hmm. and from anyone that I played yeah. with all week. Making the birdie look super easy. Oh, perfect height, just a misfire. Yeah, she knew it out of her hand. Kind of had to stretch out for that putt, too. You know, that's one thing. I see on practice putting a lot, but never any trick shots like that. Mm -hmm. It's always her normal putt. Right. She's never doing anything from the knee or, like, some weird positioning. It's just the normal stance every time. It does help to practice those weird yoga poses. Mm, just a little bit short. Sometimes harder to get that pop when you're from the knee too. It is, which is also why it's important to practice them. Yep. Kristen in for an easy par. Kona almost had that birdie. Mm -hmm. Tap and birdie for Cat. Hole five, par three, 240 feet. We have a little bit of a tunnel shot here. Um, the best approach to this basket is the forehand shot. The backhand turnover is a little bit of a low ceiling. Hard to get the height.
Bit of an early release there from Cat. As long as Kristen can get by those trees, she should have a putt. That looks good. Very nice. It's one of my favorite destroyers and owns bag. It's just got a huge end of a team wing stamp and it's like a swirly blue. Look at the ground play. Yeah. Does it matter? That's in her putting range. Mm -hmm. They'll be in circle two. She can give it a long run. She's been working on her jump putt, too. Own for birdie. Oh, she, another I, miss right. She told me her yeah. arm was hurting. She over putted. When you're putting in a high winds like that, you really have to put a lot harder than normal, as mm -hmm. well as throwing harder all weekend. So yeah. A lot of times your forearm or your elbow or your shoulder, mm -hmm. whatever, it just feels worn out. I got a bit of a tennis elbow in the off season just from over putting, mm -hmm. just from squeezing and putting hard over and over again. So I can definitely see that. Kristen for two. And she is moving away from own now four strokes in front of her. Cat with their par putt. Hole six, we're actually playing from the short tee there to the left of the tree. This is just a simple shot, but I prefer to take, <laughs> sounds funny, a high speed driver and sling it way out to the right and let it flare skip in for a chance at an ace. Um, it does get a little <laughs> more ground play than I'd like. Um, when I asked Kristen what she threw here, she's like, I'm going to choose a harp because when I tried to drive her, it just wouldn't be still when it hit the ground. And it yeah. rolled all the way to the left, um, which I certainly learned from my own shots. Oh. She's like, I just couldn't get it right enough. She really moved that one to the right yeah, a lot. Yeah, she tickled some branches. Yeah, leaving it a bit short. It's hard. I know from experience with the harp, it's hard to get the distance on it unless you throw it really hard. Oh, this looks great. Mm -hmm. I love how many different hyzer styles a hole like this can produce. It comes down really to personal preference. Hmm. And that's probably the worst shot Kona's had on this hole all weekend. She's pretty much been in the bullseye mm. all through practice and the tournament days. Yeah, no real look at even trying to go for that, even if she wanted to. I wonder what Kona was saying to herself right there. I saw her mouth moving. Yeah. I would love to have a microphone in yeah. people's inner thoughts. <laughs> or maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> you get a lot of stuff from Kat if she was mic'd up. Maybe one day. Birch gave it a good bid for the two. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes on days when your putting isn't fire, you just gotta feel good about hitting metal. Own finally got one in. It was rare to see her miss the basket completely on mm -hmm. this previous two holes. I mean, I feel like you never see that. Yeah, like maybe from a knee I can see that, but then on the next hole, definitely um, abnormal. Own getting that stroke on Kristen. Moving us into hole seven, par three, 282 feet. We're throwing from that tee pad you see on the right. We have a pretty straightforward shot here. The basket is a bit of uh, to the left of the tee pad, but a straight shot will get you there. Going too far will push you into those trees long, so you really wanna have a controlled shot here, but it is low ceiling. The low ceiling, it gets owned, but she's got a putt, mm -hmm. let's say 45 to 50 feet. Kristen throwing a glory, which is a seven speed. Letting it just do the work for her. Looks good with a little skip. Oh, She's yeah. button for birdie. Yeah, that's what a straight shot will get you. A 25 footer maybe. Ooh. Everyone putting for birdie. Mm. Catches a lot of chains, but a little bit left. Too low, out of mm. the hand. Just spit off with the putt today. Kona makes good for the birdie. <clears throat> Moving her to three under par, tied with Cat Merch. And Kristen taking that stroke back. That puts her, what, five down through seven? It's hard to keep up with her. I mean, if you're not birdieing, you're mm -hmm. just not doing it. Just in such a consistent overall game with her. She makes it look easy. Also, I feel like the worst score you ever see her take is a double. Mm -hmm. You know, while some people could, me, I mean, I took a quad the other day, you know, so you can't count on her to make mistakes either. Mm -hmm. Let's check out hole eight, a really fun par four, probably one of the biggest booming drives we get on the course. Just throw it as far as you can off the tee. Another nice long distance shot. Might get a look at a birdie three. Off the tee, the trouble here is OB sidewalk right in a headwind and maybe skyrocketing your shot and letting it hyzer over into the woods. I want to say that is Silver Lot's uh, orbit rive again that she's throwing. I would have to imagine the wind was pretty, pretty strong here. And it's a headwind too, so you're trying to throw a distance shot with Obi on the right side. Oh, and Kona knows that's in danger. Kona's beefcake did not beef. Mm -hmm. She is out of bounds on the right side, as I mentioned that headwind did her dirty. Mm -hmm. It didn't look like she put much hyzer on it, but sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes you just need to overcompensate. And Kat, testing the angle as well. That came mm -hmm. out of her hand with an Annie angle and it's just like Kona's out of yeah. bounds right side. I'm and surprised she would still try and throw the big Annie I know. shot. Why would you right into the headwind? I mean, maybe if you had like her X-Cal or something and you see Own, she's a little too high. Hopefully it's going to stay out of the woods right on the edge. Mm -hmm. You 
can still sneak a four out of that. Yeah. And kind of seeing, you know, a couple of people make mistakes in front of you, too. You're like, oh, I better not do that. You remember how earlier you said when it's windy, you try to throw a little lower? Mm -hmm. I threw my tee shot into the dirt almost every day because it was so headwindy <laughs> yeah. here. You know, right. my body's like, just keep it low and mm -hmm. it'll be safe. And I worm burned it. All right, that's Kona's third shot. And now she's on the left side, obstructed behind two trees. So hopefully, at worst, she can get a bogey here. Yeah, even trying to get the birdie here is super tough. That second shot's just so long. And then if you're not close enough, this is a very elevated basket, and it's always windy up there. Mm -hmm. So you might have a birdie putt, and then it might not be worth it. Right. Cat Merch's third shot after going out of bounds off the tee. There's something more stable. She'll be even deeper than Kona, maybe even pushed into those trees a little bit. It's thick over there. I'm worried mm -hmm. she might not have a pitch out tunnel. My favorite line. We'll see when we get there. Yeah. I saw Kristen get a three here the other day, so I know it's in her capabilities. Upshot's a little short. Yeah. But like what Kona and, and Kat did is, like what you mentioned before, isn't really a mistake that you see Kristen make very much. She knows if she's not getting the par, she's not trying to force anything. She's just like, all right, I'll just take my bogey, keep it clean. That was a great shot from Kona. It Very was. Very high uh, spike hyzer, and Kat does not have the same look at that at all. You know, it's better than I thought over here. Creative. Yeah. Inside the circle. I would take that from there. I'm telling you. I'm not even sure what kind of shot she threw. Was that a forehand? I don't even know. I don't know. I need a GK replay. <laughs> Owen didn't get a lot of ground play, which is weird. Yeah, I thought that was going to skip up more. Is that Was that a layup, you think? I thought it was. Yes, I think it was a layup. Maybe and it just got out of hand a little bit. Or? Yeah, the wind got underneath it. I think it kited it. And own oh, the basket. Oh, no. The baskets are being so mean you to know, her today. The other one wasn't <laughs> quite forceful enough, but this one I feel like should have stuck. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's plenty of chains to stay in. And it just through goes the through back it. Side. That's what wow. happened. Through the back side. Mm. Wow. Listen, veterans, we're going to have a little talk afterwards. <laughs> We've got beef with you. Very nice putt from Kat. That was a great bogey save. Mm -hmm. A little fist pump. Oh, she told me she's been... She's been she's eating like, those sunflower I, seeds like crazy. I don't eat breakfast, y'all. I just pound sunflower seeds. Mm, a bit short from Kona. Say this is one of the harder holes of the weekend. Mm -hmm. Kona taking a six here on hole eight. Own taking a five. Creating an even bigger gap between <laughs> her and Kristen <laughs> and that chain right there. Hate it when that happens. I mean, what's more annoying? When you hit the pole and bounce out, or when your putt looks perfect, it cuts through the back side. Oh, both. Hole nine, par four. Mando to the right of that super awesome cutout of an eagle. You really just want to get yourself in position in the fairway, mostly on the right side because it gives you the angle to the basket. A little, um, a little more open. The birdie here is also very difficult. I never got it. You've got out of bounds on the left and right. Good placement shot out mm -hmm. of Kristen. Like Rebecca said, it's just easier over there on the right side. Yeah, similar direction to the previous hole, so it's more of a headwind off the tee. Maybe a little bit of a left to right as you can see the water moving. 
Cat with a great drive. She gets big distance. Incredible shot. Mm -hmm. I had a uh, circle's edge putt day one. Didn't make the putt for the three, but I also didn't get the three here in the tournament. Mm. I feel like it's very rewarding three. Oh yeah. Especially from the gold tee. Wow, Kona put a move on this mm -hmm. one. That double bogey anger. I just want y'all to know that Kona just threw further than Cat Merch and Cat Merch bombs. I haven't seen Kona play in so long. I forgot how far she can throw. Oh, yeah. I feel like she's not even like No, she's not even throwing that yeah. hard right now. <laughs> Oh, no. Own misfires. This does not go the right direction. I mean, it's usable, but it's not really a clean shot. I guess that's better than missing the Mando. Yeah. We'll still be obstructed in there. This looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks like it was hyzering a little early. It's hard to keep it straight enough. Yeah, I never landed on the right side, so I basically just had a hyzer hyzer set up on this hole. Oh, oh no, oh. Merch. Come on, hit it. Oh, I think, did she make it or miss it? I think she missed it. Oh, she missed the Mando. I hate that after such a great drive. Mm -hmm. Throw it away on the upshot. Oh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. What? Okay. Yeah, Kona, let's go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, Miss Release turned into a great shot. Look, this drop zone is not easy, okay? Most of the time, drop zones give you like a putt or something. Mm -hmm. This one is tricky. And that was a really good shot. Yeah. I know, because I threw a couple shots <laughs> from there. Very well executed from Kat. Okay. Own found something to work with mm -hmm. over there in the rough. You can see the wind is just swirling around. What does she even have right there? I don't even see what she saw. Kristen just surrounded by these thick trees, but it looks like she has a window somewhere. Okay, we're out. We mm -hmm. got a putt. That's within range. Kona with the long birdie look. You can't tell, but this is a downhill green that slopes towards those <laughs> trees behind it. And it's a good thing she didn't put a lot of gas on that. Because if it goes past the basket, sometimes it scoodles back under those limbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those baskets don't seem to like to catch high. Scoodle, that's a scientific word. <laughs> Own makes good for the par. Colton unable to play this weekend due to some uh, lingering shoulder stuff. So he uh, is able to caddy for Kona every day. Yeah. It's always nice to see the... Great to have support of your significant other out mm -hmm. there. You see Silver out there as well. That's Kristen's first bogey of the day. Now a four-stroke gap between her and Owen. And just like that, the front nine is done. This course plays so quick. Yeah, and as you can see, the front nine, a lot more red than, than the previous round, just not as clean. Not quite as many birdies as yesterday, but that's okay. Still mm -hmm. nine holes left to make some action happen. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us here. Thanks to GK Bro for filming the ladies. And let's look at the top 10 leaderboard. A lot of our touring females out here and Jana Booth. I believe it's her first pro A-tier event mm -hmm. showing up in the top 10. Let's go, Jana.